What's going on guys? Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. As you can see today, we are doing a bit of meal prep. We're gonna be doing a full day of eating today, showing you exactly what I eat to stay absolutely massive and gain loads of muscle on the off season. Obviously joking, but sort of serious at the same time because the goal right now is to pack on as much muscle as humanly possible for the next, what I think is 95 days until the beginning of prep. As you know, this is the off season phase. This is the growth phase when the most can happen. This time has to be optimized, otherwise you will pretty much look the same as you did in your last show and your last show unless you really really apply yourself to this growing phase but we just made the first two meals of the day and this is what we got meal number one consists of two bagels 300 milliliters of egg whites two whole eggs and some spinach right here we have some rice and grinds this is actually brought back from canada absolutely love rice and grinds it's very similar to oats we've got a scoop of protein 100 grams of frozen blueberries and a dollop of peanut butter 10 grams right in the middle for meal number two we have chicken Chicken, zucchini, rice, and coconut oil. Coconut oil is amazing to add to chicken and rice. It makes it smell so good and tastes a little bit better than just plain chicken and rice. As you just saw, the macros are on the screen and will be for the rest of the meals that I have today. This is going to be a pretty chill day. This is me like slowly getting back on track. I've been so busy with the launch stuff. I have been slightly off plan ever since coming back from Canada, but we are getting back. I've still been eating calories, don't get me wrong, but probably not the right one so i've always been in a surplus i'm still growing but just in the wrong way so if you are ready for the video do me a favor smash the like subscribe if you are new really really helps the channel grow we are about to get this day started demolish meal number one do some work and stuff then have meal number two and we'll be going to the gym for an early workout so sit back relax and enjoy this video Now, meal number one is great because although it just looks like a plain plate of eggs and bagels, you can make it a bit more interesting. Sandwich two halves of the bagel. You can make yourself a nice egg and bagel sandwich. Not too bad. You could add sauce to this and it'd probably be a little bit better, but I just, I don't know. I like it like this. This will be one of the last days when I'm actually alone because I have come back to the UK slightly before Geordie. She'll be coming here in two days. So I'm just trying to fill up the time of my lonesome, just keeping busy, eating loads of food. I am going to do a little bit of work right now and catch you at the next meal, meal number two. All right, so here we go. All warmed back up. This will be the pre-workout meal because I want to go to the gym a bit earlier today. So we are going to delete this meal and then head to the gym. But one thing I wanted to touch on is outside when I came back from Canada, there was an occurrence, something popped up. As you can see right there, there is scaffolding and basically like a that's like a worker's place where you make tea and coffee and then on the other side this is the view the same bloody thing if there was like builders like stood right there they could like see in the kitchen and stuff and we are on like almost third floor like this is quite a high building but now we have company if we're making breakfast in the morning which is fantastic right now i'm gonna eat the next meal and then i'll catch you again when i'm on the way to the gym decked out in the black hard buddy tea the very terry joggers and the Mocha Jordans. This combo, honestly, I feel so good. <laughs> and this tea literally goes live in one more day, like tomorrow. Like basically the day you're watching this, it is going live. It's tomorrow for me because this is Sunday and it goes live at 6 p.m. on Monday the 28th. Any support for this launch, like any, even if you get a stringer, obviously if you got a stringer, a hoodie and a tea, you'd be decked out and looking sick. Just anything would mean the absolute world to me. Like this has been a dream of mine, making my own clothing brand for like seven years. Like <laughs> ever since, Ben Francis, Lewis Morgan, and the boys from Bromsgrove created Gymshark. I was like a couple years below Ben in school and seeing what he made and seeing this incredible journey that he's been on over the past three years, like I've wanted to do something like this for so, so long and it's, it's coming true. That was really cool to say. But like I said, we are all ready for the gym right now. So we're gonna head there and get on with a leg day. <laughs> gonna move these boxes, have some deliveries. <clears throat> practical. Why are they even trying to talk? 
Just pulled up to the gym. Driving here was not easy considering it's the Brighton Half Marathon today. You know like the famous Brighton Marathon? That's in April, I think. It took about 25 minutes, half an hour to actually drive to the gym when usually it takes only 10 minutes. The pre-workout meal has definitely digested, to say the least, so we are definitely ready for the workout. <laughs> It's definitely a pre-workout kind of day. It was a late night again. I'm really struggling right now to like fix my sleep schedule because obviously right now it's five hours earlier in Canada. So when I'm going to bed at like 12 o'clock, it's literally 7 p.m. in Canada. And I've just not fixed it yet. I went to bed at 4 a.m. last night. Woke up a lot later than I wanted to. We need this today. He's gonna conclude the workout. Didn't record nearly as much as I wanted to. There was like three exercises that we did that we didn't even record. So hopefully it was like at least enough to even put in the video. But today is a full day of eating. So it's more about the food than the actual workout itself anyway. So now we're gonna get back and get the post-workout meal. How was your workout? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was decent to be fair. Brief overview, one word. Average. <laughs> Describe your workout in one word, how was it? Oh God, pressure. One word. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> so close. On the way back, I just pulled in for a cheeky car wash because the car was looking a little bit scrappy. I don't know why, but they're doing like work near the apartment, like over like the little like brick wall or whatever else, like right next to the apartment. I wake up and there's just like a film of like dust and debris and whatever else on the car, and I just can't do it. I have to leave it in the garage. We're gonna give it some love. We're gonna do a bit of a hand car wash. But it's actually really bad for a car to just like leave dirt lingering on it because it like it can slowly attack the paint, and just do long term damage. Even though it doesn't seem like a bad thing now, but like basically just at least if you have a car, I would always recommend getting it washed at least once a week do it yourself if you do work hard for things just put in the work and keep them nice because nice things don't last forever so we need to go to Ikea and get another chest of drawers like the one we have. And it's going to cost the same as getting a suitcase. I just went around to have a Lewis and he gave me some Parmesan cheese. I'm about to start making pizzas. I wonder if this onion's still good. It's been here for three months. Probably shouldn't eat that. Drain it. That's disgusting. Onions last forever. <laughs> you don't really want to know me. Hanging in the corner with the nose. Yeah. High on whatever they saw me. That's the all me, yeah. Alright guys, so just got back, made a post Look at me, as you can see, we've got fajitas. Absolutely love the fact that I've got so many macros now, I can literally just make what I want and somehow find a way to fit it. Everything we have here is 110 carb, 14.5 fat and 17.6 protein. It comes out to 858 calories. Um, after this, I've got a bunch of work to do because obviously it's the day before the launch of the Hard Body Clothing. So I've got loads of website work to do. So I'm gonna eat this, watch an episode on Netflix and then do some work for a few hours before we go on to the fourth meal of the day. Keep this thing Mm. Parmesan cheese on these is a little bit weird. Some cheese is better than no cheese. Oh my god. Alright, so we are going live in 20 minutes. This is, I can't even believe what's happening right now. I've literally been thinking about this day for so many years and in 20 minutes we're going live and it'll all be said and done. So anyone that did support the first ever Hard Body Season 1 launch, thank you from the bottom of my heart all the way to the freaking top. The only issue was that every single Hard Body athlete currently that is sponsored by equipment has a clothing brand sponsor. So this is all, there literally would have been nothing to help this clothing launch do well. So if it does well, well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It was a very, very late night. I ended up going to sleep at 5 a.m., woke up at 10 to finish things off. It's ready it's like the site is pretty much live literally just finished editing this little video down here this one would have already been posted freaking hype 
is so sick. It's very dark in here. I feel like we need the light at least. Yeah, the front page. Everything is going live in 15 minutes. Absolutely mad. I do have the password to the website so I can quickly show you what it looks like. Oh my god. This is so sick. This is my first time actually seeing it like this. I mean, I obviously made the video, but I've not actually seen it like on the website. Scroll down, featured, join the family. You can sign up to the website actually if you didn't know to get like notified and like obviously be part of like any email deals that we do in the future. We are going to select clothing right now. Season one, hoodies, t-shirts, and stringers. To see this all come together, like the way it has like this, this is awesome. I mean, granted, like there's not that much on the website like right now, but season one, part two, we'll have like another color hoodie. We'll have some joggers as well. As soon as this is done, we can basically finish off perfecting season two. 12 minutes, 12 minutes. Two, one. Oh my God. We're live. I'm gonna order my, <laughs> I'm gonna order my own stuff. Purchase. Is it weird that I just bought something from my own launch? I actually don't think it is. Can't show you the address. Thank you for your order. And there's the order. <laughs> this is insane. Launch one, season one, day one. Hard body clothing is officially live. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for everything. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for literally being like, you guys are like my family. You know that. Like if you're watching this right now, like you are like my family. You've been here for so, so, so many years. And I've absolutely loved every second of it. And since day one, I knew I wanted to do something like this. Yes, there was the equipment, but now there's the clothing. And now we're a complete brand. Thank you for everything again. And we are back from the flash of the future right there. So hopefully something's happening to do with the launch. But just finished making the next meal. We have a massive bowl of chicken pasta, absolutely covered in cheese, absolutely glorious. Like I feel like one of my favorite like bulking meals is just chicken pasta. I have thrown a little bit of spinach in there. So it's usually just chicken, pasta, sauce, spinach, and Parmesan cheese. And the macros of meal number four are 87.2 carb, 12.4 fat, and 57 grams of protein, which is 698 calories in total. Got a little bit of work done that I needed to do. There was just some editing and some content that needed to be submitted to the team. I will see you for the final meal of the day. As you can see, picked up some fancy jars for the kitchen. I've always wanted these in my kitchen. I always said like, when I get a kitchen, when I get an apartment, like I wanna have this kind of thing in it. Cause it just like, I don't know. I think it's cool. It makes the kitchen look like kind of decorative slash convenient slash like very organized all at the same time. So for the final meal, a cheeky snack before bed, we're gonna have a small bowl of special K. One of my favorite cereals to be honest. Very, very simple, but I love it. We're also gonna have this with a protein shake. Some people would like to make a protein shake, shake it up and like add it to the cereal. I personally don't like doing that. When you shake up a protein shake, it's quite foamy. Mixed in with cereal, like it's not the best. We're gonna have one on the side, nevertheless. Unsweetened almond milk. I think guys, that's gonna be it for the full day of eating. The macros of the final meal are gonna be on the screen, the special K and the protein shake. And the final macros of the day are also gonna be listed on the screen right there. If you wanna see more full day of eating in the future, because definitely I wanna make them a lot more interesting. When I have an excuse to be a bit more eccentric, I definitely like to go ahead and do so and obviously show you guys the ideas that I come up with. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do me a favor, smash the like, turn on post notifications, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm, I'm so tired right now. I'm literally so, so tired. I'm so ready for the launch tomorrow. It's the big day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.